Hey y'all, welcome back to All Things Duncum, and I am here with another hair tutorial. Before you do anything else, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. The materials we use today are a metal red tail comb, sharp edge, um, some hair clips, and then these are hair pins, make sure they're metal. Jamaican black castor oil. This is just an old spray bottle with some water in it. Doc the Murray's beeswax, love this stuff. And Talia Wajid locking gel. So what you see me doing here is sectioning off the back part of his hair. I start my sections a little bit bigger in the back and then in the middle that's when I make them smaller. You might want to do your sections smaller in the back if they're going to continue the dreadlocks. But on his hair for the starter locks I just did them a little bigger in the back. So I'm just trying to make sure I get a really straight part. That's why you want the rat tail with the metal end because that just gives you a really crispy part. And so I'm going in with the hair clips so I can make sure all the extra hair is out the way. And I'm just gonna start off sectioning off the first dread. All right, so after you have a nice section, you start with the first dread, and I'm gonna go in with the Jamaican black castor oil. And you really wanna make sure that you moisturize the scalp, and then try to work the oil through all strands of the hair. Next, I'm going in with the Talia Wajid Locking Gel. And this is where you're gonna start the twisted motion. Just keep twisting the hair from the root all the way to the ends of the hair to the very last strands. Keep twisting and really try to grab it tighter towards the root of the hair so it'll set better and it'll be nice and tight and look more crispier. I guess that's the word I like to use, crispy. So if you can see there, I really didn't like the finished look so I went in again with the gel, some more gel and then I twisted it some more so the whole strand will be one size. So just keep twisting it, you can spin it around your finger, twirl the hair in between your hands, or just do where you using your index finger and your thumb. And then you want to grip it really tight at the root, grab that metal pin, and pin it down. And you can twirl it a little more. I had some flyaways there. But twirl the hair a little more, twist it, twist it, twist it, till it feels secure. You can go in with your rat tail to make sure the hair is all one size. And voila. So you're going to want to repeat the same thing you did on the first one, grip the hair, you can go through it with the rat tail to kind of really detangle it so the whole section will be one size, you go in with the rat tail first, 
add some more gel start to twist at the root and then we can get about halfway down going with the beeswax but just really twist on your finger twist with your index finger and your thumb and like alternate between both hands and twisting it back and forth and really working the drill through so to lock in I want you guys to watch me do this in real time so you can kind of see how I really took my time and went in on each thread, making it twist so it'll be the same size. Because if you don't do that, then it'll be all lumpy and get clumpy. You can use that rat tail to really work it through. Make sure the hair is smooth first and then you twist, 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 twist all the way down to the bottom. Once you have a secure twist, metal pin it down. And there you have it. So I'm gonna speed it up here. This is a time lapse, but I'm just going in. Um, like I said, you may want to do half of this size of the dread if this is like a look that you want to keep it going um i did my sections bigger in the back but it still turned out good in the end because the other hair laid on top so just keep doing the same motion of twisting it work the gel and the wax through make sure to use your rat tail to help you do the crispy parts and the back row is finished. Now this blow dryer is key, especially for me because I didn't have enough metal pins to fill his whole head. So I had to blow dry it between each set. But now I'm just gonna time lapse it for a little bit. I think I'm gonna slow it down towards the middle but I'm just gonna go through a time lapse so you can just see the repeated motion throughout this section and actually in this middle section here I'm gonna split them smaller so you'll be able to see how I made the dreads smaller the higher I got up his head So this is another real time here. I went in with the oil first. And then you want to gently detangle the hair with your fingers because the hair might not all the way be detangled and it'll really hurt if you just rip it through. So you have to take your time, go through with your fingers first, and then go in with the rat tail after you sprayed it with some water and put oil on the hair first. After you oil it, get go through it with the rat tail, then you add the Talia Wajid lock gel, twist it tight at the root, and then when you get midway through, go in with the beeswax. Again, it's very important to make sure that you keep the hair detangled and you keep twisting it all the way to the end because when you have longer hair, it's going to be more of a challenge to make sure that the hair stays the same size 
through the whole dread. So just keep twisting it over and over again until you feel a secure hold at the root. Then you'll be able to work it down and keep it the same consistency all the way through. When you pin it, you kind of want to pin it at the root. And if it's long enough, you can pin it in the middle. All right, so we're back to the time lapse. So you just see me work through this middle, almost to the top section. And then after that, we're going to go, I'll show you how I did the sides. All right, so moving on to the edges. <clears throat> so on the edges, you want to use your rat tail to kind of slick it down some more and really twist it tight on the edges because that's where most people will see. It's normally a more coarse area towards the edges of the hair. Keep twisting, continue that same motion. all the way to the root of the hair and then pin it down near the root here's another one on the side and i did make these parts smaller towards the top So you want to make sure that you twist down far enough. If you feel that hair starting to tangle up, just get the rat tail coming on out. Twist it down, turn it around, all that good stuff, okay? Like I say, I'm not a hairstylist. I didn't go to school to do hair. But it's just something that I find fun. And when I do it, people like when I do it. So why not show you guys how I get it done? So y'all, this whole process is just a lot of repetition. Splitting the hair, make sure you got some crispy parts. Pinning it down, the blow dryer is key. And then just repeat the same motion. And honestly, like a lot of times when I do hair, because like I said, I didn't go to school to do hair. Like I start to find what technique works best for me the higher I get in the hair like when I got to the top I felt like I was more of a expert than I was when I first started even though this is my second time doing this hair so 
so now we're just gonna speed through this last part i'm really just going in the whole middle part i think time lapses are pretty cool and i'm just working it through getting the last finishing dreads complete last little section here All right, so we're pretty much done. I'm just going in again with my blow dryer and then unclipping the rest of the hair. Just doing my last little final tweaks to it. But we are done. Remember the blow dryer is major key. And there you have it guys, finished product starter locks. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.